What up fam, welcome back to our channel, I'm Deb, and before we get into much of that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Welcome back, it's such a treat, grab your plate fam, come on, let's eat. So before we get into much of that, make sure you check out the description box down below to get you 10% off your coldest using the coupon code coldest. So we have some Chipotle, now these were prepared by Corona Free Hands, they were prepared, prepared by my younger sister who we are semi-quarantined with, so we good over here in these parts. This is a burrito with everything except beans. We got a lot of new family members here. Y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all can be anywhere on these YouTube streets, but y'all chose to be here with us, and for that, we appreciate you. I decided to mix it up a little bit today. Go with some Doritos and the white cheese sauce from Chipotle. I prefer the white cheese over the cheese that they had before. And it has a little bit of a kick to it, so pretty good call. So my burrito has steak and chicken. Let me open the micro Tabasco sauce. Google shot. Say it's off later. Mm. Tastes tastes crisp. And this is their um vinaigrette they have. It was pretty good last time I had it. So now that a lot of shows are going off, what are some of your theories about some shows that are going off and on break? How do you believe they're going to come back and say again and transition into their new season, their new upcoming seasons? Are you excited about it? I mean, because I remember when I used to watch Scandal, when the quote unquote Columbus Short Scandal happened, and they cut him, I was like, man, he's one of the key players, so I don't know how long it's going to be. Sure enough. These used to be gold in MREs, man. And those and the good treats like Skittles, M&M's. Man, if you want a field X, you got one of those. Boy, on the popping. I said I tried the no beans today. See what that's talking about. Because sometimes being can be an overkill. But in their defense though, with their size and texture, it's like 
little tiny pieces of meat in between. So they're good fillers too though. I'm thinking about doing like a word or two of the day. What y'all think about that? If I have a word of the day, or if I do two to make it fun and interesting, like <clears throat> tying like a micro story time to each of them to make them relevant. as far as to draw a correlation to retain the word. Because I don't know about you, but I feel like all the time I spend in school learning words, learning procedures, learning how to do things, Gotta practice at home to keep them up. What's the point in having expanded your vocabulary up to the 12th grade year to just cut off and stop once you graduate? Either high school or if you go along to college, once you graduate college. At that point, you hustling backwards. Spend all that time for what? To waste it? Mm mm. Not I, Jack. Read, make it challenging, make it interesting. But don't just sit like a bum on a log and scroll social media. Our best worst friend. Because so many people get enthralled and lost in social media to the extent they get detached from reality. So that's why you always gotta be careful to have a good balance. What are some of the ways that you um, balance your social media time? Or besides YouTube, if you're watching this, or some people on Facebook, do you not consider yourself a social media person? This tastes so clean and crisp. Like something out of the Hardy's Fresco menu or something. Man, I got so sad when they took out Hardy's. We had one like walking distance. I could cut through the path in my backyard. Walk down hill and I'd be right there. Gone. The one about five miles up the road, gone.
But they usually were pretty destitute though. I think the beans might be out the door. Because at this point, I feel like they're overpowering. I taste such, of so many more different flavor profiles. It's like a way better measurement of flavors. Like I can even taste the light crunching sear on the chicken. Oh yeah. Turn it down the TV, Andrew. <clears throat> I like changing up the things that I eat sometimes so that things like this can happen. I know Sunday is a long way away, but what are you planning for Sunday dinner this week? Can we get an invite to the cookout? If your answer is yes, send us a request on Instagram so we can do a quarantine live. <laughs> so if you're on Instagram, what do you think about the live and concerts and all that the celebrities are having? I think it's pretty cool. because at least they're still trying to some extent to have a form of engagement. And provide some entertainment. Because most people on quarantine is bored as Picking up a couple hobbies. Because at this point, being quarantined till the 30th, they say it takes two weeks to form a habit. So if I start now, I should have a new habit by the end of quarantine. Now, if it goes any longer than that, though, I don't know what to tell
we need all that. So, fam shout outs. Our fam shout outs go to these wonderful people right here. And if you want to get a shout out like them, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can come by and we drop good eats like these, and drop your comments. Because we can't give you a comment, shout out for coming, if you don't comment. You see how that works? They go hand in hand. You comment, we say, we appreciate you coming. You know, scratch my back, I scratch your back. Which, Jess, needs the back rub. Now, we're gonna finish this burrito, and then we're gonna get up out of here. If by now you didn't know how precious time was and how valuable time was, this quarantine should really be showing you that. I appreciate you, so y'all did this up. I have one of the best sisters in laws in the world. And that's facts. Ooh, come here. She is kind. She is awesome. She is wonderful. And got a wonderful cousin too. She is amusing. She is talented. She is amazing. An amazing young cousin named Mike. Determined, driven, dedicated. Great people. And I'm blessed to have them in my life. Hope y'all have at least a few people in a support network who you know you can go to when chips are down.